One of the entertainers along with Doc Severinsen at the Illinois State Fair last night was Larry Storch. If that name doesn't ring a bell, it's because perhaps Larry's name just doesn't appear quite often as some other entertainers you've seen on TV. But Larry is a fellow that's been on the Doris Day show and in other numerous shows on TV. Right, Larry? Well, among uh, others was Sonny and Cher a long time with him. And then several years with uh, the F Troop uh, comedy uh, show with Forrest Tucker and Ken Berry. And while he was still active, Ed Sullivan and Johnny Carson and... Uh, I can't think of... Who else, Norma? Uh, well, that's about it. You play the uh, type of character like a, like a prize fighter, right? Yeah, with Doris Day I did, yeah. I played uh, some character that I had known in uh, Florida who was an actual fighter. And he was a southpaw and a screwball at that, and I patterned my character after him. Where's home for you? My wife and I live in Hollywood at this stage of the game. You didn't always live in Hollywood, though, did you? No, I was born in New York, and uh, my wife was born on the uh, Blackfoot Reservation in, in Fort Hall, Idaho. How did you get interested in show business? Well, I was always the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the clown around the block on the street corner. And then I started doing impersonations and dialects and one thing and another, one thing. And then, of course, I, I think a lot of kids graduated into uh, uh, amateur hours. I did. And I played a little burlesque when I was very young. And I learned a lot from some great comedians. But this was quite a few years ago. And that's how I got into it. That's unfortunate because there are so many uh, places, at least in the past, that people could get started. But now it's, it's rough. The only new talent that seems to be coming out seems to be in the music area. Right. And uh, as far as entertainment in the field of comedy or burlesque, like you say, it's, it's kind of a, a lost cause. Do you see any hope for the future as far as new talent? Well, I see uh, new talent coming along, but I think they're going to have a, a much tougher time than I did when I was a, than when I was a young fellow. Because, as you pointed out before, Kenny, uh, there were there was a nightclub on every on every block. There was a there was vaudeville all over the country. I used to play uh, vaudeville here, and uh, and the, the Lake Club here was another night spot here. So the young kid coming up today has no place to uh, to practice his craft. He, you know, where's he going to go? Do you find yourself doing a lot of fairs this time of year? Well, I haven't been doing fairs. This is the, one of the first summers I've ever devoted to fairs, and uh, I think I'm going to play a lot of them. I, I like them. I really do. And I just came from Omaha, my wife and I. Now here we are in Springfield, and from here we go to Kansas City to play, play the... Uh, it isn't a fair. What is it there now? It's a Starlight Theater. So... Uh, it's uh, quite an exciting life. I like it. And then on the road here, I run into an old friend of mine named, named Doc Severinsen. And I haven't seen the Doc since we did the Johnny Carson show together. We wave at each other in the street sometime and one thing and another. And we talk horses and, and that sort of thing. He's very interested in that. And But here we are together. That's one of the beauties of being in this, this business, you know. Is it uh, a, a regular routine for you to travel with Doc now, these days? Or did you just meet here? I may never see Doc Severinsen again. You know, that's just the way it is. It was just pure luck. Does the new 1974 fall season on TV have any involvement with you? Well, I was just talking that over with uh, one of the musicians, and the way it really is involved is a phone call Friday night, and they say you've got a role in uh, On Love American Style, or you've got a role with uh, Sonny and Cher. And it works like that, you know. There are no long-range plans anymore in TV. At least uh, I haven't run into them. Do you ever bump into McLean Stevenson? Yeah, I ran into McLean Stevenson and... Uh, New York. I was hosting the AM show, and he was in New York, and we got together and told some lies at 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, hopefully uh, not too many people <laughs> could pin us down. They didn't talk about Bloomington, I don't suppose, with you? No, he, he, no, I don't know why. I guess New York overpowered him, and uh, there were so many things happening in New York that he, he, never, he couldn't sque squeeze Bloomington in. <laughs> Larry, I want to thank you for talking to us. I know you have to go on again, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. Good luck in the future. Thank you very much, Kenny. We, we really love the people here in Springfield. Thank you very much.